Hi, Cancer. Alrighty, welcome to the space, uh, if you're new here, and um, welcome back if you're returning. Alrighty, Cancer. So, I just told Libra, we're going to try to keep this efficient. Um, I chose an oracle for this month. Um, you receive the card, all is connected. Little autumn leaves there, too. Although she's in like a spring dress, that's nice. Hair, hair flowing, flowing free. Um, I do feel like there's some, uh, there's some new, there's some, what direction is this? It's like a new um, feeling, like a new, um, let's see. This card represents innovation, transformation, growth, and release. Any of you who were here last month, it was very emotional. And I'm glad whoever was here, where you actually like let that guard down to let it out, thank you. It helps the world, it really does. Thank you, it helps yourself, it helps the world. Um, this is, um, do not fear changes. Releasing, you're re releasing fear by letting go. Change is hard and often painful, but it is the only way to grow. You may drift, but you will never lose yourself. Life goes on and nothing ends. It is reshaped into something new by the wind. Not better nor worse, just different. And in that change lies wonder and openings. Um, the spider can be represented. There's one here in the middle. The spider um, can be represented by Scorpio, but it's also connects to uh, Hestia or Vesta. Because she's a weaver. Maybe this will help you to understand something. I hope I can show you. Hold on. Excuse me, Zoomy. So yesterday, I just stayed in the house and was doing all these things I needed to do. Can we still see it? Can you see? Oh, no. Maybe from the other side. Hold on. So basically, there's a spider web. Oh, I just touched it. There's this huge spider web right here that you can't see. But what's interesting is the bottom is like right here. Now, it seems like, so my head, see my head, and then see that? But what's interesting about it is this, oh shit, sorry. This spider knows how tall I am. If I walk down the steps, one step, can you see it yet? Two steps. I literally have, oh, I wish you could see it. It's not reflective because spiders are magic. There's literally like, I don't know, six inches above my head. It's like it knows, you know, nature, life knows where you are. And it's always working with us. Okay. I heard you never need to be afraid of it. Right. Maybe some people, for instance, would be like, ah, spider web. And I mean, literally that's an orb spider. So the spider web's like this big, it's big. You know, and it, to some people, it might be like, oh, this is blocking me from wiser spider, you know, ah. It's like, no, just approach things. I guess if you approach things slowly, then you will understand more about how it's all connected. And if you don't exactly, we talked about this on your birthday in July. It's like, Sometimes you receive information, which helps you to connect something else, but sometimes it will give you even more questions, right? Which I heard just makes the process of life more enjoyable. It may be even a little bit more miraculous or mysterious, right? And that's okay. Um, I don't feel like this is a time for you to... Uh, Try to figure everything out in a 
spiritual way. Let's see what, what, um, are these all in the reverse? What's going on here? Okay. So you let go. Okay, good, good, good. If you, okay, for instance, I need to say this. If you weren't here last month, please watch August, no, September, Cancer's Reading. Because there's some emotion that this is why you're here is because now you let it out, right? You realize you're like, oh, there's no oars in the boat. Like, where are we going? What are we doing? Figuring out who you can lean on. Um, I heard admitting where you're stuck, right? Um, how are you feeling? Yes. Yes. Okay, awesome. How you feel, Six of Fire? Well, I guess, well, I heard you could feel a little under pressure or like a little bit where you may feel like, oh, I gotta do my best. But this is actually, I feel like, a very good mentality for you. Like a good energy to hold in your body. Maybe you just need to tell yourself right now, say, I am doing my best. And if for some reason when you say that, you think of something where you're like, ooh, I could do a little better there. Because Saturn's your opposite. You're going to do this. There's going to be something where you're like, ooh, I could, work, I could work on my kitchen more. Or like, I could work on that, organizing, managing my time a little bit better there. There's always something. But in general, I feel like you need to tell yourself that you are talented, that you are appreciated, that you are... I heard healing karma without even knowing how or why sometimes again now um what's the advice Ooh. Mm. all right you have some interesting cards all right we talked about this all is connected is about actually letting go right because you can't connect Imagine if you held on to every piece of clothing, every person you ever said hello to, there was like a string and you were literally like two inches away from everything. You wouldn't be able to function. Do you know what I mean? And I guess I heard for cancer energy, this is kind of how the emotions work. Is like, it's always like crab claws to everything. It, without even realizing it, it can be very subconscious. So you gotta re remember how to, I heard uncramp, uncramp, your, this actually feels really good, like closing your palm, you know, like power fist, and then be like open, wide open, and then close, and then wide open, close, wide open. And I'm particularly doing this with my left hand if you're blind, okay? Or if you're just using your ears and not your eyes. Um, using your feelings, right, is, is hearing, is feeling. So, what is necessary is the nine of winds. I would say this is a very good time to be celibate. Um, I would also say it is a very nice time to think about, well, I heard, what do you feel about sex? How do you feel about intimacy right now? Who's the last person you had sex with? Because these are our private parts, right? Sharing that means a lot. Especially if you're a female because you are the receiver. Um, please make good sexual boundaries, though, if for some reason, like, say... Because I guess for some of you, there could be something casual. And I feel like during this time, it would be good to see... Well, again, how you feel about that. Because I feel as if it depends where you are in the path. For some of you, if this area has been blocked, you need to ask yourself, why have you been blocking it, right? You've been celibate, for instance, for a long time, or you, you chose that. It's like, just tap in there, be like, okay, why did I choose that? How do I feel about that now that there's been some space? Um, if you are, I heard, feeling a little frisky, you've been a little more frisky <laughs> than I saw like a cat, um, then I feel like this is, it's still a nice time to be celibate, but you want to ask yourself why and how you, something about how you feel about your own body. Um, 
because what is that's what's needed nine that that card and actually what you want is the eight of swords So you want to feel better about your body. You want to feel better about your, I guess I see something about performance or um, something about, I heard how you feel about long-term relationships and or who I specifically saw who has fucked you over. Or where you were weaker um, when you weren't. You acted like it. I guess this could also be how do you talk about sex? How do you talk about... Um, I heard, do you feel that sex is spiritual? Um, does I heard, how does God play a role in that part of your life? Like the root, because this is about the root of you, right? Um... I heard what is acceptable to you. I heard what are you wanting now? Um, if you have had any negative sexual experiences. Actually, I heard whenever you have had negative sexual experiences. Well, I guess remember that everything happens for a reason. I know that seems maybe cheap or cliche, depending on what you've had to go through. But I heard it still doesn't matter if it, it's, yes, it, it's all, because I saw the hair font. It, it's like, we all have, especially if you believe in karma, it's like there's always karma there to teach us faith right to teach us what's risky to, like what's i heard so you're not mean to yourself or or take less than or become codependent you know you can stand on your own you can express your fears because that's also what you need and you want in between here is the ace of swords so it's, and it sits, that sits right above all is connected. So what is it that you need to let go of? Because I sense that you're already letting go of it and it is emotional for you. It's mental. And then it's almost like it's emotional. It's mental. It's, it's fire energetic, which is sort of spiritual. Here's the three, right? But I sense that you've cried about this enough. Whatever this thing is, it's like you have cried about it. You know what I mean? I heard some of you, you have screamed about it. And that's actually very good because it's like having Mars and Cancer. You know what I mean? It's like, or Mars and Pisces. It's like, we're screaming underwater. Like, what, then you're just poisoning the water? It's not helping the water be better. I mean, you need to get it out, but not so that it constantly, all, the water just boils out of nowhere. Do you know what I mean? It reminds me of that Japanese artist... Um, right, because the earth is the element that is meant to take aggression. This is why people used to beat drums and dance and stomp their feet and like be anim dress up like animals and be a part of earth because the earth can take that. It's hard enough, it's strong enough, it's Saturnian, it can handle that. Water is soft, right? We're meant to soften that. I mean, as humans, we have to sometimes fight one another you know what I mean have disagreements have ego battles whatever you know I heard say nasty things um, I heard is there anything nasty that you still like or is there anything that you want maybe this is some sort of guilt around sex too or like guilt around what you want 
Do you feel guilty for any of your, what you are wanting in this life? This is interesting too. It's like, this is a woman like in a castle, right? Um, and the thing is, is the key is right there. You see, and all she has to do is pick her head up. And I guess that's what you do is once you pick up your head, you gain, you go out the door and then you actually gain wings where you can fly to understand more about what's going on. So it's like you have to, you, you want to say yes to something, but you can't be afraid and I feel like this has something to do with connecting thing, connecting things and then equally, well, that's not the right word. It's like connecting and disconnecting at the same time. And I just saw like a woman at a, um, like a, what was that called? Um, like an operator when, when they used to like exchange the cords, right? Be like, okay, I'm disconnecting this. I'm connecting that, you know, you're trying to figure out the right equation here. And it does kind of, the, the advice I guess is to know that you can control the pace of it. Um, and then even after you say yes, you have to say no. Maybe that's one of those things. What is it that you really want to say yes to, but you know this would be saying no to something else? And then I see, please look at whether that's healthy or not. And then I see... If it is mostly healthy, I heard because you're a human being, like it's a human thing, then why do you feel, if you feel guilt around it, why? I guess your advice is also to not fight with people. That's right, Zumi. Keep that cat in check. Uh, please... If someone tries to pick a fight with you, do not. Um, I do feel like this would be a time... That, okay, so I'm recording this in Libra season. This is square to you. So you and your you may want to take a break from your relationships a little bit, right? Maybe you take a little space from your friends, um, even from your, your small circles. You know, you kind of take a break or you're wanting to kind of disengage a little bit and sort of do your own thing. Um, this could be a little bit of traveling, I heard too. Trying to find, like, I heard trying to find yourself. Um, is any, I heard, is anything making you, like, especially with other people, like, is there guilt around, like, somebody being like, don't go, or, you know, if someone doesn't, if you know that what you're doing is good for you, you know, it's responsible, it's healthy, you know, you're not running away from anything, you're just like, I heard just, especially when you need time to yourself, like, you need that. Um, I see, please don't, this is not a time to overwhelm yourself with too much socialization. Um, you also feel like you don't want to go backwards, and I feel like you won't. Um, and the letting go, if you're wondering more about this letting go, please watch Cancer's reading for September. I mean, any I have a Cancer playlist, too, and you could just randomly trust your intuition and pick one. That could maybe be helpful for you also. Uh, but last month's was strong, you know, it, there was such a deep emotion there, you know, and I know sometimes it's so hard to, but you have to let go to be able to receive new things, you know what I mean? And I guess for you to really figure out what it is that you are wanting and the direction, this new direction that you're heading in the future. And I also see presently like being cool with that. Um, has something to do again with your own faith and letting go of guilt. 
especially that in your mind because i actually feel like you're empty you've emptied again i saw someone already crying about something this is something that's old now it's kind of like all right and i feel like you kind of put again you already put the the pieces have been it's like the spider web it's like it's all been in front of you but sometimes it's like you receive the answer but sometimes there's like more questions and it kind of puts you in a corner and you're like all right what do i and i heard check and then it's like uh you know all right now what do you want to do the moon and the magician you know what i mean what's i heard what's the future look like to you how how are you visualizing that do you need to make a vision board um i heard is the world remember wherever you are is also kind of a vision board like right? where you live or how you decorate it or your car or whatever it's like it says a lot. This also includes, I heard your your clothing is an expression of that. So I heard, please dress your best, right? I heard no need to pretend to be anything, right? Just be you, love you. Yes. And I do feel like you are fixing something, you're continuing to fix something about your body. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I want you to know that you are fixing that. Loving your body more, right? Loving you as a body, as some, seeing it as some, but I am, what I heard, I am somebody. Is that a song? I am somebody. Oh, well, closely like this, do you remember the reading where it was just like, repeat after, repeat daily. I am completing a great cycle. I'm so very proud of myself. I'm creative and magical and took off and no longer wear a mask. Because I trust in the actions of myself. Thank you for being here. Any of you who comment, it's always so inspiring. Um, and truly, I am so happy to be of service. It's, it's truly a pleasure. Um, there really aren't words to describe my gratitude. You know when you feel that way, when a feeling's just so strong and like so, I don't know. It's like there, sometimes there aren't words for things, but if I could try, I would say thank you. Thank you. Those of you I work with personally too, such a pleasure. Um, and of course, any of you who have gone over to Patreon, um, if you know what that is, thank you for uh, extending your education and wanting to learn and grow in a different way. Uh, taking that extra initiative for yourself, signing yourself up for class, good job. Uh, I hope that you're enjoying it. Um, if you are new to this space or haven't heard about it, I don't always mention it. Um, but uh, there's a link below. It's basically where I do extra, there's just extra readings. Hi. and uh, mythology, astrology, uh, plant readings. It's fun. It's, it's a fun, yeah, it's a, it's a really fun space and there's some really good folks over there too. Um, anyway, if you'd like to check it out, please feel free, feel free. Yes, feel free. And if you've already been over there, thank you. I hope you're enjoying yourself and enjoying wherever you are. I hope you're enjoying your learning and growing. Okay. Um, and appreciating your art, I heard your artistic expression, and I see again, please love your body. Please love your body. And when are you nude? How often are you nude? Who is the last person I heard that you were nude with? Like in the same space that's important here or who who have who who are all those people for some of you 
Okay, I love you so much, Cancer. Please take care. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.